This is about space. America's return to space. With news and information on the U.S. manned space program is your host of About Space, David Denault. There are many important reasons for studying asteroids like the target of OSIRIS-REx asteroid Bennu. Welcome, and thanks for joining me. Launched in 2016, the Orias-REx satellite was sent into deep space to rendezvous with the asteroid Bennu. The goal is to land on Bennu, collect samples, and return them to Earth. Details on the mission next on About Space Today. Don't think of taxes and accounting as being a problem. I use Hometown Tax and Accounting Services in Cartersville, Georgia, and for all of your financial needs with years of valuable experience, they deal with estate, trust, tax planning services, and be sure to like us on Facebook, Hometown Tax and Accounting in Cartersville, Georgia. Are you ready to fly away on a dream vacation? For cruises and all-inclusive resort vacations, call D&D Cruise and Tours at 877-747-8631. That's 877-747-8631. And see us on Facebook, D&D Cruise and Tours, where your dreams become a reality. Since August, the Orias Rex has been orbiting the asteroid, looking for a landing site to collect samples some scientists say are the leftover building blocks of the solar system, remnants of the dawn of planet formation that may have delivered organics and water to early Earth. Dante Loretta is the principal investigator from the University of Arizona. There are many important reasons for studying asteroids like the target of OSIRIS-REx asteroid Bennu. First and foremost, for me especially, they're geologic remnants from the dawn of our solar system. They're literally the first material that formed around our star, and they represent the building blocks of planets, and we hope, in the case of Bennu, of life, and the reason that Earth may be a habitable planet in the form of delivering water and other important volatile material. OSIRIS-REx is a mission in the NASA New Frontiers program. Our objective is to travel out to a near-Earth asteroid named Bennu, survey that object in great detail to understand its geology, its mineralogy, and composition, ultimately select a single location on the asteroid surface to acquire a sample, and return that material back to the Earth for scientific analysis. The Orias program is directed by the Goddard Space Flight Center, and here's Kenny Getzendener. Asteroid Bennu is a fragment of the early solar system, an unmelted, unaltered piece of the origin of the solar system. It preserves the ingredients, the raw materials that went into the formation of planets, the formation of life. By bringing a sample back to the Earth, such as Osiris Rex will do with samples of Bennu in 2023, we'll be able to look at the samples in laboratories around the world to understand in great detail the nature of the sample and its place in the origin of the solar system. Throughout 2019, we'll be doing global characterization of the asteroid, basically making maps of the entire surface. We're interested in its topography. Are there craters? Where are the boulders? The valleys, the mountains of the asteroid. And then we want to understand the distribution of geologic materials. Are we finding different patches of minerals in one location versus another? And why are certain areas of have a composition and others may be different? We're going to be looking, most importantly, for areas where we can collect a sample. Once we're in the vicinity of our home world, about four and a half hours before impacting the top of the atmosphere, the spacecraft spins up and releases that sample return capsule. The spacecraft fires its engines to perform a deflection burn, going off into orbit around the sun, and the return capsule enters the Earth's atmosphere, targeting a landing in the Utah desert. I'll be there on site when we open that capsule up and we see those samples for the first time. And science begins at that point on the next phase of the mission, the sample analysis period. Principal investigator Dane Loretta of the University of Arizona. And so far, Orias Rex has found four possible sites for an early December landing. And thanks for joining me today. Next week, what are the possibilities of an asteroid colliding with Earth? For launch dates and more, see us on Facebook. And from our entire crew, 
Happy Thanksgiving. I'm David Denault, and this has been About Space Today.